Hi everybody, how are you all? I hope you're all okay. Today is the anniversary of VE Day and we were meant to originally be doing a, an event with the van. Obviously we can't do that anymore. But because um, everybody's cooped up and they all want to see each other, our neighbours have decided to kind of throw, not a street party, but we're all going to sit at the end of our drives, have a cup of tea and a bit of cake to toast the day really. So I've decided that I'm going to make a white chocolate and raspberry blondie. I'm going to show you now how I make the blondies. The ingredients and the quantities will be at the end of the video, so no worries there. Okay, so I've started with melted unsalted butter and I've got light brown soft sugar. I'm just going to pour it in. This is such an easy recipe, it's all in one bowl as well. Even better. Just give it a little stir. It's all incorporated. It really doesn't take very, very long at all to get this together. It's kind of similar to a brownie. The texture, it's quite gooey in the middle, if they're baked right. I'm just going to give it just a little whisk just to make sure it's all mixed in and then to this I'm going to add one large egg of vanilla extract. When you're buying vanilla extract try and get a proper extract not a flavouring as it's just going to be a cheap substitute and it's not going to give you the vanilla hit that you need. This is the one I always use it works quite well. So it's just two teaspoons of that. flour, stir that in, no real technique needed for this one, and then I've got white chocolate chips, I mean, you could use milk chocolate, you could use whatever you wanted really, and I'm going to stir those in. Half of the raspberries. I always use frozen raspberries and they work fine. I'm going to do that just so they don't break up too much. And then I'll pop it in the tin and then I can just dot the other raspberries over it. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Okay, so I've got the mixture in the tin now. I'm just going to dot these through it a bit more. And there we are. That's it. As easy as that. So it's all in the tin now. I'm going to pop it in the oven um, for about 25 minutes, 160 degrees Celsius. 